The Indian Air Force has declared Nyoma Air Base in eastern Ladakh fully operational, making it the world's highest fighter-capable airfield at 13,700 feet. Located just 35 kilometers from the LAC, the Rupees 218 Corps facility enables rapid fighter deployment, heavy lift logistics, and round-the-clock surveillance against Chinese positions. Upgraded by the Border Roads Organization, Nyoma transforms India's high-altitude air power posture, offering faster response, multi-domain integration, and a formidable deterrent in the sensitive Ladakh theater. Australia has joined India, Japan, and the United States for Exercise Malabar 2025, a key Indo-Pacific maritime drill, underway in the West Pacific from November 10th to 18th. The Royal Australian Navy's HMAS Ballarat and a Royal Australian Air Force P-8A Poseidon are participating alongside NS Sayadri and Allied vessels. The exercise features anti-submarine warfare, air defense, and joint fleet operations reinforcing interoperability and collective deterrence amid evolving regional security challenges. During the 15th India-Vietnam Defense Policy Dialogue in Hanoi, Defense Secretary Rajesh Kumar Singh and Vietnam's Deputy Minister Senior Lieutenant Gen Hong Xian Chien signed agreements on mutual submarine search and rescue support and defense industry collaboration. Singh also visited Hong Ha Shipyard to discuss shipbuilding cooperation and inaugurated the 6th India Vietnam Army Exercise, Vinbacks 2025. The visit reaffirmed India's Make in India Make for the World vision and deepened bilateral defense ties. India and Israel have signed a new Memorandum of Understanding under the Joint Working Group on Defense, to co-develop next-generation air-launch cruise missiles and air-launch ballistic missiles. Building on the MR Sam or Barak 8 legacy, the project envisions 500 to 1,000 kilometers range, Mach 2 plus speed, and advanced electronic warfare and electronic counter-countermeasure systems for operations in GPS-denied environments. Israeli firms Rafael and Elbit will collaborate with DRDO, with up to 60% localization, planned under Make in India. DRDO and HAL are developing Rudra M3, a hypersonic air-launched anti-radiation missile for SEAD, designed for the Su-30 MKI with 550 to 600 km range and Mach 5 terminal speed. Key subsystems are validated and captive carriage trials done. Live fire tests and user trials are pending, so full induction is three years away. It features swap out warheads, lock on before launch, and lock on after launch modes, 90% simulated hit probability, but seeker sensitivity and hypersonic warhead stresses still need refinement. The Indian Air Force is integrating AI based decision support tools into its integrated air command and control system to empower air battle managers with faster, data-driven decisions. Developed with DRDO Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics and BEL, under the UDIN program the DSTs will fuse radar, AWACS and satellite data to automate analyses and enhance find, fix, track, target, engage and assess kill chain efficiency. Aligned with 2025's Year of Reforms, the rollout boosts IAF Cyber Resilient, multi-domain command and control capabilities across forward bases. Turkey has reportedly denied airspace clearance to a cargo flight carrying six AH-64E Apache attack helicopters bound for India, forcing the aircraft to turn back mid-route. The Antonov and 124 had departed Boeing's Mesa facility with the Indian Army's final Apache batch, but was redirected after being grounded in the UK. The obstruction, reportedly linked to strained India-Turkey ties after Ankara-backed Pakistan during the May 2025 conflict, has further delayed the Army's Apache induction. DRDO's Technology Development Fund has issued an RFI for Advanced Wideband Shared Aperture Phased Array Antennas, 
operating across 1 to 6 GHz and 5 to 18 GHz bands. These systems aim to merge radar, electronic warfare, and communication functions into a single stealthy antenna, cutting radar cross-section by up to 50% and improving multi-mission efficiency. The project, open for MSMEs and startups until November 17, offers up to rupees 50 crore funding under TDF. Designed for aircraft, warships, and vehicles, the dual-band system will use gallium nitride-based modules for high power and agility, marking a major leap in India's indigenous electronic warfare and stealth technology development. India's Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, has invited industry collaboration to develop, test, and certify three key avionics systems, the Combined Interrogator and Transponder, Software-Defined Radio and Infrared Search and Track, for the Tejas MK2 fighter jet. Aimed at speeding up the aircraft's prototype rollout, by late 2025, the initiative will ensure seamless system integration and flight readiness. These indigenously developed sensors will enhance the jet's communication, friend or foe identification, and stealth detection capabilities. ADA Smooth supports the Atmanerba Bharat Vision, offering MSMEs and defense firms a major role in advancing India's next-generation air combat systems. The Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, has announced a tender, closing November 20, to develop a cutting-edge optical projection system for aircraft assembly, replacing traditional jigs and paper blueprints with precise laser-guided visuals. Designed to project 3D instructions, part placements, and inspection cues directly onto aircraft surfaces, the system aims for submillimeter accuracy and AI-driven adaptability. Once deployed on Tejas MK-1A and AMCA lines, it could cut build times by up to 30%, boost house annual output, and sharply reduce human errors. Aligned with that Minerva Bharat, the project positions India to match global aerospace giants, like Airbus and Boeing in digital manufacturing precision. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.